بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم My dear beloved brothers and sisters I want you all to to look back and remember when you were a child what was your your favorite toy I know we all had our favorite toy I can envision mine now And I want you to recall how upset you would become when you lost your favorite toy. If that toy became this place, how upset you'd be. How much you would cry and fuss and you would become restless. You needed that toy because that toy to you was the world and everything in it. And of course, now that we look back at the situation, we look back at how we were as children, how much we adored this toy, We look at that same toy and we think about it and we think to ourselves, how could have this, this simple, basic toy have brought me such joy? How could this little thing have brought me such joy and caused me to cry and fuss and, and react the way that I did? Well, brothers and sisters, what if I were to tell you that on the day of judgment, we will look back on this very world in the same manner? We will look back at this world that we fought over and we fussed about and we reacted the way in which we reacted. We will look back and say, this is very finite, very, very finite world. We, it caused us to neglect our akhirah. It caused us to neglect the eternity of pleasure, inshallah. This Well, brothers and sisters, again, as we stated at the beginning, Allah Azza wa tells us, مَنْ كَانَ يُرِيدُ تَوَابَ الدُّنْيَا فَعِنْدَ اللَّهِ تَوَابُ الدُّنْيَا وَالْأَخِرَةِ And whoever desires the reward of this world, Allah has the reward of this world and the hereafter. So in other words, Alhamdulillah, we are, we are given the opportunity to enjoy both. We are given the opportunity to enjoy this world and the next. And then, alhamdulillah, we have certain situations and things that cause us to, subhanAllah, increase, again, our rizq in this world and the next. And we've mentioned a few today. We've mentioned taqwa, having that consciousness. And tawakkul, putting our faith and our trust in Allah and maintaining the ties of kinship and how simple it is and being grateful and the benefit that comes from it, and istighfar. And we ended with one that again can seem very, very contradicting, but subhanAllah can have such a great and enormous reward. And that is of course sadaqah, charity, brothers and sisters. Uh, and so I'm here to tell you today that alhamdulillah, 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 we have an opportunity here today where we are able to invest in this world and benefit ourselves in this world and the Akhirah. And so have a win-win situation. And that is through the form of charity. See, alhamdulillah, we are here today on behalf of pure hands, ayah ya na'iya, seeking your help, our brothers and sisters, your help in aiding and alleviating the pain of our brothers and sisters in Yemen. And I'm sure we are all aware of the situation there. We are all aware of the pain and suffering that they are going through. Again, brothers and sisters, this is, by the UN has stated that this is the worst humanitarian crisis since World War II. Again, these are our brothers and sisters, our elders, our children, that are suffering, brothers and sisters. But when they got to the point that they have begun to eat the leaves off the trees. Why? Not to satisfy their hunger, brothers and sisters, but to satisfy the pain of that hunger. The pain of that hunger. We say, Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah, why? Because we have an opportunity to do something about it. We have an opportunity to alleviate their pain, to quench their thirst and satisfy their hunger, but also benefit ourselves in this world and the next alhamdulillah. So inshallah after the salah, my father will give the uh, fundraiser inshallah and we'll have two packages 
The first being for 3,000, which will provide a family of eight with food, water, and basic medical supplies for an entire year. And the second package being for $250, that provides again a family of eight with food, water, and basic medical supplies for an entire month. So Alhamdulillah, this is again an opportunity for us to help our brothers and sisters while helping ourselves in this world. And the next, and I just like to remind you all that you can give on a monthly basis and that this is an opportunity, of course, to give on behalf of your parents. That you're able to make it. We have a right to our parents even after they pass, brothers and sisters. And that we do have a table at the back, inshallah, as well. We have credit cards and debit card machines for those who would like to donate via credit or debit card. And lastly, I would just, if, this is more of a request for the brothers and sisters, that if you are unable to give for any reason today, I would really urge you all to inshallah come and give us your salam and your smile. Because as we know, the smile on the face of your brother or your sister is a charity. And I would like every single one of us here to perform a, a form of charity on this blessed and beautiful Friday. That is a lot of people. اللهم <laughs> اللهم احقن دماء المسلمين في اليمن وسائر بلاد المسلمين اللهم اجعل اخواننا في اليمن من كل هم فرجا ومن كل ضيق مخرجا واحفظهم من الفتن ما ظهر منها وما بطن اللهم اغفر لنا ولاخواننا الذين سبقونا بالايمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين امنوا ربنا انك رؤوف رحيم ان الله يامر بالعدل والاحسان ويتائي ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي 